G'day YouTube, Dishy here, I'm back, <laughs> sorry about that, couldn't help myself, yes I'm back, after uh, being away for a very long time, which I sincerely apologise about, I didn't mean to make anyone concerned or anything like that, but uh, unfortunately real life and a few other things got in the way and uh, kept me away from the land of YouTube. But I'm back and today I'm just out on a afternoon hike up in my local hills getting a bit of food for the soul. I'll take you guys along and sorry about the sketchy camera work, I am quite rusty. But hopefully get back into the swing of things shortly. And just a couple of things to kick off on. First of all, I just want to say thank you so much to all my good friends out in the land of YouTube for all your emails and messages of concern and uh, just checking in to make sure I was alright. It is greatly appreciated and truly touching to be honest. It's uh, one of the special things about YouTube, you meet some fantastic people. It's, uh, and also I'd like to thank uh, all my subscribers all my originals and all my new ones. Uh, my subscriber count was uh, a lot bigger than what I last checked on it. So I thank you all for that. Uh, I will be definitely producing some more videos now and be able to get them out to you. And we'll get going along here a bit further and then... Uh, oh, go the bright sun. That didn't quite work out. There we go. Oh, the birds. Truly, getting out in the sticks is definitely food for the soul. But uh, that's all I've got for the moment. But uh, we'll pull up shortly and have a spot of lunch, and we'll have a bit more of a chat and see what else is going on. Catch you shortly. Just beautiful. Spa bath anyone? Bubbles are supplied free. <laughs> Just all the tannin from the tea trees. It's like soap so when it comes down the waterfall it reacts, gets mixed up and basically turns into a big uh, soap sud. But uh, now prepare your monitors to be broken just so there is some proof that it is me. Ta-da! Enough of that ugly mug. I'll just keep going on up here. Oh, I love being back out here. Now, there is a nasty rumour being spread by a certain Irishman, tactical Hadouken, <coughs> claiming that I was actually in prison all this time. Now, as I said to him in a post, the only reason I'd be sent to prison is because this Irishman had taken a mickey out of me. And I had to take care of him, and so they sent me down for that. But then they found out he was an Irishman, so they let me out and gave me a medal. Jokes, brother, jokes. No, definitely not in jail. Definitely not in jail. But uh, good to see you've still got that Irish humour, brother. Good to see. I do want to make uh, a mention to a few couple of people. Now, if I don't mention your name, please don't get upset. As I said, to everyone that's all my friends on YouTube and all my subscribers, I truly do thank you for all your emails and messages, but a uh, special shout out to uh, Ziva for Freedom. She pretty much uh, made my inbox melt with all the messages of concern. She's a lovely lady. I'll put annotations in the uh, description box there. Go check her out if you're not already subscribed to her. And also a special mention to my uh, good mate Sabre. Now I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but uh, he hasn't been in the greatest of health lately, but he's still plugging away on YouTube and uh, doing the right thing and being a great family man. Again, I'll put his annotations in the description bar. Go and check him out. This is also for you, brother. I know that sometimes it's a bit hard for you to get out and get into the wild, so I'm also doing this for you. Hope you enjoy it. Anyway, not too much further, and then it's uh, lunchtime. Yum.
Oh, here we are, guys. About halfway up uh, one of the mountains or hills here. Stopped for a bit of lunch, as you've probably seen in one of my other videos there. And uh, just waiting for the uh, noodles to finish cooking up, which not too far off at all. Oh, yum. And the old good old pocket rocket far and away there. Now, uh, Oh, that's difficult, isn't it? I've just forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> professional dishy, professional. Um, sorry, quick, having a quick ciggy fag here. Cigarettes, not fag. All my English subscribers will know what I mean. But, um, oh, listen to them birds. I keep going over this, but uh, it really has touched me, the... Messages of support and everything else that everybody sent me. It's, uh, it's a great thing. Great people out on YouTube. So many that it's uh, mind-blowing, to be honest with you. Um, I do have one other person I've definitely got to give a quick shout-out to, and you've definitely got to go check his channel out, and that's Gavco. Now, before I uh, left the world of YouTube for a while, uh, he was very kind and uh, made me a custom-made knife. This one right here calls it the Combat Survivor, and I tell you what, it fulfills both those purposes magnificently. I'm not going to go into details, but uh, she's a winner, Gavco. If you guys uh, want to check out a custom knife maker, and more importantly, a guy that makes some awesome Kydex sheaths, I mean, I'm talking seriously good quality, you got to check Gavco out. I'll put a link in the channel there. But uh, as you can see, I'm not actually carrying the Marine Raider like I normally do. Uh, I'm just taking this one out today. Beautifully balanced blade. Fits in the hand magnificently, no matter which way you want to carry it. Seal style, or what's called seal style. Dagger style, excellent uh, excellent grip. Fantastic finger chore. There will be a tabletop review on this. And some chop chop demonstrations, as it is a good batoning knife. Just an absolutely magnificent blade. Beautiful handle, a whole lot. Just brilliant. So Gav, thank you very much sir, it's a brilliant blade and uh, there'll be a big review coming out on this, but uh, I guess this will pretty much be, right, as you can see, scout style carry, I don't know if that's going to show up in the vid, but that is so comfortable you don't even know you're carrying it, it sits there perfectly. And uh, also a very quick shout out to uh, Virulinus and Nut and Fancy over at TMP. Um, some really nice messages from them as well. Uh, I know that everybody doesn't agree with what everything that nothing does, but um, you got to admire him for the uh, the videos that he does put out and the quality of production of those videos. It's inspiring, especially his backpacking and videos and stuff. Just magnificent country that he takes you through. And also congratulations to Nut and Fancy and everybody else that won awards in the uh, Tactical Viewers um, awards. Double up on my words there. So congratulations to everyone that uh, not only won awards, but also got uh, honourable mentions. Magnificent. Crockett 20. Deserved winner. Magnificent videos. I really enjoy his videos. Again, check him out. But uh, lunch is nearly done there, people. So uh, we'll get this bit of nosh down us, and then we'll probably start heading back, because as you can probably tell, it's starting to cool off a bit. and getting a bit darker. It's about uh, 10 degrees at the moment. And... Uh, starting to get a bit dark so time to head off home. Again people thank you so much for all your uh, emails and uh, to all my subscribers out there thank you for subscribing. I might not have been able to get back to you all and uh, to say thanks but uh, this is my way of saying thank you. All right take care everyone and we'll catch you later. Well here we are we're nearly at the uh, trailhead probably 15-20 more minutes hiking, yomping and we'll be back to the uh, car park and heading home. But uh, just want to say thank you for uh, coming along. Hope it wasn't too boring for you all. And uh, my ramblings were coherent. <laughs> Probably not, no dishy. Professional camera work that he has. But, uh, ah, the beautiful sounds of the Aussie bush. The babbling brook, the tweeting birds. The gentle rustle of wind in the leaves, 
trees. Okay, peoples. Wish everyone the best. Take care. And we'll catch you later.